Panama had um, actually reported that 42.29% of Arangasi students failed to complete their schooling up to Form 5 in 2021. This is a worrying trend. It is a sad truth that the Arangasi students continue to face educational disparities as compared to their non orangasi counterparts. Despite different um, initiatives that has been implemented, the Orang Asia students still face lower academic achievements, um, high dropout rates, low access to quality education. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 has sort of worsened this uh, situation and adding uh, additional barriers lah to, the, to the efforts. There are a few main factors. First, there is a lack of cultural um, responsive material um, in, in our you know mainstream education um, syllabus so this lack of you know relatedness for them uh, when they go to school they really cannot find anything that speaks to them uh, or speaks to culture it sort of like disengage them um, to go to school um, in a way there is still geographical barriers although Things has improved. Still, many uh, orang asli um, students and communities do not really have the access to to go to school. Um, you know, they still have transportation problem. They still face sy systemic barriers. Yeah, you know, it's a sad truth again. Uh, but they still uh, face discrimination to go to school. Uh, for example, because they still face bullying. Hence, then lead to a higher dropout rate. Um, and then I think the last one would be like a larger socio-economic issues right um, because they still face or they still experience poverty it's a it's like a vicious cycle so they face poverty they don't get to go to school and then you know uh, they cannot uh, access quality education and it cannot stop the poverty so that is um